what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here so we're talking about a few different topics in this video here again today we'll be talking about scream 6 we'll be talking about freaky and happy death day 3 that crossover actually freaky death day we'll be talking about megan and then we'll round out the video by talking about saw x some more since it's been a while since i talked about saw x so just to jump into it with scream 6 scream 6 is rumored to have a trailer coming very very soon you don't say and the alleged runtime is two minutes and 15 seconds my thoughts on that are simply wow really who would have thought that a movie would get a trailer before it dropped yeah just to be on a more serious note i would hope that this trailer relies on chase scenes some teases of dialogue random bits of dialogue more specifically just from random characters to hype up the mystery that will unfold without showing too much since people actively like to pick apart trailers then blame the trailer for spoiling their experience when no one told them to do that anyway and yes i also get the argument that it shouldn't matter if you want to do that or not they should not be placing so much in the trailer i get that too now relying on chase scenes and bits of dialogue that can hype the mystery and maybe a line from ghostface and a tease related to the aged mask would be ideal to me for a trailer because these rumors are coming from Twitter. They're coming from certain individuals who are not big screen leaks. That's all I will say. They're coming from other individuals, again, who are not big screen leaks. They are not viewer and on. They're coming from somebody who has leaked stuff in the past. If you know who they are, you know who they are. But yes, I don't know if any of that is true as far as the runtime, but it's not shocking that we are getting a trailer soon. If I were to predict when this trailer would perhaps drop, many people are already predicting January, it could drop in time to release with Megan, even though that's a universal picture movie, maybe they're gonna drop it with the release week of Megan for whatever reason. So just to jump into this next bit of news here to talk about this freaky death day, happy death day freaky crossover update that Jason Blum gave when speaking to the Hollywood Reporter. Uh, speaking in regards to again Freaky Death Day, a crossover that several people have wanted to see. Freaky Death Day, he said, I hate to say it, but your dreams of Freaky Death Day are a little further removed than they were even a few months ago. So I wouldn't have very high hopes, but I would also say that anything is possible. Now, for me personally, seeing Tree and Millie shake it up is on the bottom of my list when it comes to those two franchises but also it's one avenue I'll accept if they deem it to be the best option if it's the only option that allows them to revive any of these two universes once again and combining them into one I would prefer to see another Happy Death Day standalone movie and a separate freaky movie but a crossover could pass of course for a freaky sequel and it would pass for a third entry into the Happy Death Day franchise as it currently is uh, it's, a shame, it's a shame there's no overly positive update but comforting to know that it can happen they if it can happen they will make it happen my only hope is that of course you have jessica roth bath back uh and i sincerely would just prefer if they were to do a crossover that the story primarily focuses on the character of tree not that there's anything wrong with millie i just think that i find the character of tree to be the more sympathetic of the two girls that carry those two films one is a series the other is just a standalone movie at this point because it hasn't had a sequel happy death day 3 i would say i am more open to seeing that if they aren't able to do a crossover movie i know the crossover talk did start to ramp up a bit after people saw all three of them jason blum i believe was in this image as well and not jason blum but uh Steve I think it's Steven Landon or something I think that's his name I might be mistaking it I was gonna say Steven Lang I know it's not Steven Lang <laughs> but uh the creator of the series I think people saw him and the two ladies that lead those series together at one point at a recent event so that's when it started ramping up talks of this crossover so if the crossover happens it happens if it doesn't it just doesn't I just hope one day we get future standalone movies for both of these series so just to conclude this or not conclude but jump into one of the second to last topics with Megan James Wan in the same interview with the Hollywood Reporter discussed the interest in a Megan sequel from Universal his response to that was saying well my answer is I'm very superstitious and I don't like to talk about sequels before the first film is even out and I kind of I get that personally but like any of the movies I make and I always think of a bigger world I don't just think of that one story I think of a bigger world so if we're fortunate enough to tell any other stories we can pull from the bigger world he said bigger world a lot there <laughs> I mean, personally, if Megan is the only one of her kind, the only way I can see a logical sequel happening without seeing the movie, because I don't see this movie till Wednesday, 
The only way I see a sequel happening right now is if they write in a narrative that follows the general public not believing Gemma and her niece about Megan's antics and they somehow are able to write a believable narrative in which Megan got, got away with everything Gemma is blamed for it all and of course that would be a nod and homage to some of the events that you saw unfold after the events of Child's Play and they just doubt everything they told them but the this same public humil humiliation for them sparks interest in that doll which you know companies will start to get behind and say hey you know what forget those two crazy people they're lying about them but there's clearly interest in this doll from the public so then they start making several more Megans and then you can have a whole new slew of these same replica dolls out there in the open and that's how a sequel can be born and hopefully i know some people hope that this would bleed into some potential crossover movie with chucky down the road but we'll see what happens if megan is able to prove to be a success and give chucky some actual competition when it comes to the killer doll subgenre all in good time last thing we're going to talk about is saw x now saw x was reportedly from an outlet or rumored to be done filming. Josh Stolberg has chimed in to declare that that is not true. Josh Stolberg put out this tweet on December 30th. He said, hey, just got a slew of Google alerts talking about how the new Saw film has wrapped and saying I said it. No, I'm doing the giveaway drawing on the day it wraps is what he says it says. He's saying it wraps in January, so stay tuned. Now, some people said that Kevin Gruder chimed in and said, or a person I saw over on Reddit, I'll say, said that Kevin Gruder, who we know is directing this upcoming 10th entry, said it finishes filming in February. I haven't seen been able to find that. All I see is a very clear tweet from Josh Stolberg, who says that he's doing a giveaway drawing on the day it wraps dot 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 in January, which leads me to believe Saw X will be finished filming in the coming days, coming weeks in January, whether it be mid, early, late January, it's on its way to being done. If it bleeds into February, then it just bleeds into February. At this point, just be thankful that we're going to see, I guess, the Saw franchise revived after some people thought that it was going to be dead after Spiral. But then again, some people thought it was dead after a few other of the previous entries. I just hope that again, this is a film that can give the legacy of Tobin Bell and what he has done with the character of Jigsaw a proper send off. And if they can are somehow able to branch it out in the future movies, do that. Or if you take the TV show route, I'm not against that either. But let me know what you guys think about all of this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you subscribe, turn on post notification so you never miss a video in the description. I will have links to all my social media accounts. I'm on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course, to let me know if there are any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.